become blind loyalists to one party or the other, to one race or the other. We think that they have our backs because they tell us that they have our backs and they keep leading us down the same path, election cycle after election cycle, and we willingly keep going. Willingly. We don't even put up a fight. My mother and my father, who was in here, they are in upwards of 80. Don't be mad at me, Mom. You don't look it. <laughs> they were in a war when they were children and teenagers and young adults. And their war was against the government. Yes, they fought a war against the government. I'm going to tell you a story to bring that home, and then I'll be done in a couple of minutes. Martin Luther King was attacked by a young white teenager before a speech. And the teenager was apprehended, and the police went up to Martin Luther King and said, Sir, would you like to press charges? And Martin Luther King responded and said, No, I'm not interested in pressing charges against him. I'm more interested in a system that made him the way that he is. See, Martin Luther King understood that we are born, when we are born, as the Constitution says, all men are created equal. We have to be taught certain things. And there was a time in our history when our government taught a particular thing. Now that has changed because when the ugly face of Jim Crow was revealed on national TV, Jim Crow died. So what was the government to do then? They needed another way to divide the people. And it's called the two-party system. Yes, I'm running as a Republican. I own that. And I'm not ashamed of it. The reasons I won't run as a Democrat is because as a matter of fact, their platform endorses abortion. And I can't get with that. Amen. So I tell you up front, I am a conservative, but more importantly, a constitutionalist. It is a matter of fact that Georgia is a red state. Therefore, this is my party. Now, I told you about the government, the war that my parents had to fight. There is a new war now. That war is over. It's been won. It's done and dead. The battle that they fought created opportunities for me, all I had to do was apply myself. And I could determine my own destiny. We even have a half black, half white man as president of the United States. That being said, what is the new war? The new war is against each and every one of you. There's a narrative being told that there's a racist war against young black men by police. Black people have been getting killed by police. That is not new news. But it is being focused on as a new narrative for other agendas. But if you were to follow and dig for cases that you don't hear about in corporate back media, you will find that there are just as many, if not more, white people being killed by the police as blacks. But you don't hear about that. It defeats the narrative. They must keep us divided. Now, I got my dad to wake up and see 
that you vote for people based on principle, based on their platform, and if they've already been in office, based on their past voting record. Never listen to a man that has already been in office. Simply look at his voting record and compare it to what's constitutional and what's not. That said, my goal is to now get people to stop seeing the R and the D. I don't even want you to look at the R after my name. I want you to look at my platform and what I stand for. And I want you to understand, I ain't promising you nothing extra. I don't care if you're gay, straight, black, female, white, or otherwise, you get nothing extra from me. All you get is my promise to obey 100% of the Constitution, 100% of the time. Why? Because if the Constitution is obeyed, it protects everyone. Thank you.